in the increase for heat pumps has gone up probably fivefold in the last six months. This is day three of the install, of uh, effectively what will be a four day install. So today we will be um, installing the heat pump outside, actually physically putting it into its location, connecting that up, refilling the system, making sure we've got no leaks or anything like that, checking all the radiators are fine, putting the glycol in the heat pump, and then essentially wiring and hopefully by close of play today, turning the system on, doing a basic setup, uh, ready for a proper commission tomorrow early. This is the third heat pump I've done on this street. They was on um, oil previously. My customer next door I've known for eight or nine years now, Paul, he's had an air source heat pump put in. So they basically went round to look at that. So really this one's just come from word of mouth. I'm just finishing off today a couple of the radiators that need to be changed. And then hopefully in about half an hour, we'll be able to fill up and pressurise the central heating side. And then a couple of hours to glycol it up. Well, this system's actually been relatively straightforward as it goes. I mean, the usual challenges we get are in positioning of the heat pump. We designed the system. Some people want, oh, I want X system, I want X heat pump. And it's not always viable. We designed the system to MTS standards, so it works for the property. We're a little bit limited on space, which is where the unit towers come in. We have had to upgrade all the radiators on this system, but it's been a, a relatively routine and straightforward install so far. Probably last year we did maybe 50 boiler installs and 10 heat pump installs. This year we're probably going to do 40 to 50 heat pump installs and maybe 10 or 20 boiler installs. So the, the business is really shifting. Well, with the unit tower, it's, it's, it's really easy to install because they've, they've tried to incorporate most of the, um, the plant room. All the controls are all centralised into one unit. It's as close to plug and play for a heat pump that you can get, really. Advice to installers coming through, I would say research and training are the two most important things to start with. At the end of training is really the start of the journey. Take your time. If you think a job's going to take you three days, allow four. If you can find another installer company, companies like myself are always more than happy to help other companies coming through because there's more than enough work out there for all of us. This is the heat pump itself, so this, this generates um, the actual heat. So it's 12 kilowatt on the outside of the unit, on the outside bolted in, going through into a unit tower on the internals. Which is where we wire all the um, wire everything back to, that's where the direct top water cylinder sits. With a hydro unit to split the central heating and the glycol to two separate zones. Keeps it nice and separated, keeps the heat pump side clean, tidy and a lot more efficient on actually heat transfer. So they're the two most important parts of this installation. Left on this job today is insulating all the pipe work and then balance the central heating system. So get, get some heat in the system, get the cylinder all fired up, all hot, go round, balance all the radiators to make sure they're all running efficiently. This job's gone um, particularly well to be honest with you. It's a little bit snaggy now to do when we're, uh, we're on course to finish on time.